Howdy folks, Ben Uyama here. If you wanna know what a possible recession will do to your porn habit and your porn use, then this is just the video for you. I'm also gonna give you two really critical things and messages that you really should consider and how to prepare for a possible recession at hand. We've seen across the board, guys, last year, the year before, 2020 especially, one website, the main website that you know I'm talking about, the porn website, increased in 25% through the, through the first six months of the pandemic. Pandemic. And there is a reason that they call the porn industry the recession proof industry. It's because when people feel uncertainty, anxiety, stress, depression, and all of that, people go to porn. Why? Because studies have shown the reason that people use pornography, the primary reason that people use porn is to alleviate difficult emotions, primarily stress and anxiety. So, because there's a lot of uncertainty in the market, in the economy, political warfare, geopolitical conflict, all of that is contributing to ultimately an increase in porn use. So there are some things that you should really preemptively do to prepare for the coming conflicts. If 2020 taught us anything about people that really succeed, and I know you guys, you're you're smart, you're a high achiever, you wanna make money, you wanna make a difference, you wanna make an impact, you wanna have a family, you wanna do all of that, then it's the people that really stand up when everyone else is running in the opposite direction, when everyone else is freaking out, getting emotional, letting their emotions and uncertainty in the, in the economy and the world control their behaviors. It's those people that fail and it's people that stay consistent and go into it full force 120% that stand up on top victorious. If we look at the market, right? If you're invested in in stock market or crypto, cryptocurrency or anything like that, it's everybody that sold in 2020, 2021 that regret it the most. It's the people that stay consistent and invest consistently and hold in faith and believing in themselves and believing in humanity and don't, most importantly, don't let their emotions in the moment control and dictate their behaviors right now. The reason I'm bringing this up, guys, is because you have an opportunity. This is a chance regarding your porn habit, regarding your, your addiction. This is your chance to be of the very small percentage of people that are gonna say no to going back to porn, to going back to your old friend, your old crutch, your old support system, which is pornography, and actually do something else about it. And in, at the end of this thing, in a year from now, in two years from now, further down the road, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you will be a person of success. You will be able to have anything you want in your life, whether it's money, whether it's a relationship, whether it's um, fame, fortune, or health, whatever you guys want, you will be able to have that. Why? Because the people that operate at the highest levels of society are able to fundamentally direct their drive and their sexuality and their time, and their energy into creating things into a project, into their business, into working on themselves and not waste their time, energy, and focus on porn. Guys, did you know that just one website, the one website I was talking about before, sees more than 5 billion hours of collective use every single year on the website? Five mother effing billion hours every single year, guys. That's in years, that's 600,000 years and it's growing every year. 600,000 years we collectively spend every year on one website. We're not designed for that. We are not put on planet Earth. We are not, God did not design us to consume that amount of porn. We are designed for connection. We are designed for creativity. We're designed for productivity. We're designed to make a difference. We're designed to use our creativity and our sex drive to further this world and society and not to waste it on porn. Like I said, 2020, 25% increase on one website after the pandemic started. So 5 billion hours, 25% more of that, that's insanity. So that's my tip number one for you guys. Have the shift in mentality and realize that while everybody else is going to go to the websites, is gonna watch porn and use PMO as an escape from the anxiety and depression and stress that you're feeling for whatever reason, maybe because of financial stress or maybe because the market is seeing more red days than green right now at least or maybe it's because of your family you're in uh, you have family friends in one of these countries that experience conflict or you're afraid of what might happen to your country to in what in some way or another if that's you guys you have an opportunity to use this time to focus that energy you have on being productive, in helping others, in serving others, to working on your business, to working on your life, to working on your body, to working on your hobbies, to working on anything else you want. But if you run away, if you decide to use this as, as an opportunity to act out, slip up and watch porn, masturbate, you will be of the majority of people that are failing. That in, in a year from now are gonna regret, oh man, I should have, I should have 
invested. I should have started a business. I should have found a date. I should have invested in my relationships with my spouse, with my parents, with my siblings, whoever. You guys don't have to be there. I'm here to tell you guys right here on YouTube that you don't have to be that person. You can rise above that and do something different. And you can focus that energy you have right now, maybe that stress or anxiety that you might have in something better and more creative. Okay, so that's my tip number two. When it comes down to it, when the rubber hits the road with your porn habit, when you're really feeling those urges, those those temptations, that those triggers, it really comes down to figuring out and identifying what is it that's causing you to feel those emotions? What is this specific emotion that's causing you to feel this need to run away and watch porn? Of the hundreds of people that I've mentored, it is always related, almost always related to stress or anxiety that they're feeling with something in their life, whether it's work, school, relationships, uh, money, anything at all. That specific anxiety is is what you need to focus on at this time of economic of political, geopolitical conflict or or uncertainty or whatever, even if we have a long standing recession, who knows? But you can use this as an opportunity to identify the triggers and the reason that you use porn. What I say all over and over again to the the people I mentor is that there is usually always a singular stressor in your life that is causing you the most uh, desire to go back to porn. And when you identify that singular stressor, then your chances of beating porn and masturbation increase dramatically because you become so focused on addressing that thing that it might be. So when you're feeling those emotions, you got to stop. This is your activity, your assignment. You got to stop, figure out, okay, what led me here? I'm feeling triggered. I'm feeling the, the urge to watch porn and masturbate. What led me here? What happened today? And write it down. Write it freaking down on a journal. Go out in nature. Bring your phone with you and just write it down in your phone or in a journal. Why do I feel this way? And peel back the layers of your of your soul until you get to the core of the issue and you realize that, man, my porn habit has very little to do with pornography, pixels on a screen, and it has more to do with the root cause of why I use it in the first place. And when you identify that root cause, then you can focus on that and replace that thing in you. This is why some people are more susceptible to porn addiction, right? If you've ever wondered why you are struggling with this and apparently no one else is, (laughs) or why women particularly don't necessarily struggle as much, it's because some people, generally speaking, some people are better at identifying that root cause, identifying that emotion, and are able to release those emotions in a productive way instead of bottling it up and then exploding exploding with porn and masturbation, right? So you've got to figure that out. And when you do address that, I want you guys to focus so intensely on that and replacing the habit. So your activity for today is to do those two things that I mentioned in this video. I'm going to put another video right here that's going to be kind of your next step. And if you want to do group mentoring with me, then I think you would, we should really consider it. Go to benuyama.com. The reason I'm doing this is because It's a lot more affordable, but also it's really the best way for you to get accountable. It's good to have you guys. Take care.